Yes, yes, people, then, man, finally got some hands on time with the Motorola Edge 50 Fusion, the cheapest phone in their Edge 50 lineup. Let's see how that went. Yes, people, then, so we're down in Oxford Street, Central London, at the Twist Museum. Motorola putting on a little press briefing for their new Edge 50 lineup. Now, first hands-on impressions with the Motorola Edge 50 Fusion is that the build quality and design is given exactly what everything else in the lineup is given. It's not like you'll look at this phone and you'll think to yourself automatically, rah, this is the cheapest phone out of the bunch. Like the build quality, the materials that they're using, that kind of soft touch metal plastic. I'm not even sure what it is, to be honest. I'm not a professional like that. But what I can say is that it does feel and look quality fam like now if we're moving on to the specs i can't lie they're looking kind of modest but considering the price point is 349 they're allowed to be modest for the processor we're talking about a snapdragon 7 gen 2 8 gigabytes of ram minimum that goes up to 12 gigabytes of ram and you've got a 128 gigabyte model 256 and a 512 gigabyte model but they're all at ufs 2.2 speed so obviously not the fastest storage that you can get but you know not any slouch either now moving on to the camera specs you're getting two sensors on the back one's a 50 megapixel ting and the ultra wide is a 13 megapixel ting but it does have macro vision capabilities so it's good to see that the ultra wide has autofocus now in terms of the front facing ting we're looking at a 32 megapixel ting everything goes up to 4k 30 maximum no more no less kind of ting now, I'm actually not sure when this thing is releasing. I just know it's not releasing on the same day as the Motorola Edge 50 Pro. When it does release, I am going to beg Motorola to give me a review unit so I can let you guys know what this thing is really saying and give you like a little more in-depth review of it. But as far as first impressions go, I think this thing looks all right. Like the camera launches decently fast kind of thing the menus feel okay obviously it is a demo model so i can't really judge the performance of the thing from using it for like 10 minutes kind of thing also unlike the motorola edge 50 ultra and 50 pro it doesn't come with these moto buds plus and that's a shame because these are some really sick headphones but to be honest with the price of the motorola edge 50 fusion in the first place it's not really going to be that deep for you to buy some moto buds plus on the side fam it will still be cheaper to buy them than getting the motorola edge 50 pro and the motorola edge 50 ultra but like i said people them just a little quick first hands-on impressions um let me know what you guys think about the motorola edge 50 fusion will you be getting this one or will you be looking more towards the motorola edge 50 pro and the motorola edge 50 ultra let me know in the comment section below subscribe and like notification bell all them good things there and <laughs> i'll catch you in the next one